In this video, we'll be solving a quadratic equation using the zero factor property. The zero factor property states that if you have two numbers multiplied together and the product is zero, then one or the other or both of the numbers are equal to zero. So if a times b equals zero, then a equals zero or b equals zero are both equal zero. Note, in order to use this property, you must have two or more factors multiplied together on one side of the equation, and you must have a zero on the other side of the equation. Let's do an example. We're asked to solve using the zero factor property. And the equation is 10x squared plus x is equal to 2. So in order to use our property, we must have a 0 on one side of the equation. So let's move this 2 to the left side. So we now have 10x squared plus x. And then we can move this by subtracting 2 from both sides. So we have minus 2 equals 0. All right, now I'm going to factor this left side so that I can use my zero factor property. I know that because this is a minus right here, that means that the difference of the inner product and the outer product is 1, because our coefficient here is 1. And I also know that since this number is prime, I only have the one choice, 1 times 2. So I'm going to put those numbers in my second position, 1 times 2. Um, I want numbers here and here so that my inner product and my outer product has a difference of 1. So I can use 1 times 10, but my inner product would be 10, and my outer product is 2. That's a difference of 8, so that doesn't work. If I tried 10 times 1, my inner product is 1, and my outer product is 20, and that's a difference of 19. So that one doesn't work. If I try 2 times 5, my inner product is 5, my outer product is 4. So this is the numbers and the order that I'm going to need for my factoring process. So this first spot, I'll put 2x. And the second spot, I'll put 5x. And again, because this is a minus, I need uh, opposite signs in these two binomials. So to figure out which one gets the plus and which one gets the minus, I want my bigger product to be positive because this term is positive. So my inner product was 5x. My outer product was 4x. So the 5x needs to be a positive. Now let's check and make sure that this factoring gives me this trinomial. Uh, 2x times 5x is 10x squared. The outer product is negative 4x. The inner product is a positive 5x. When I add those together, I get a plus 1x. And then my last terms, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So this is my factored form that I'm going to uh, use for my zero factor property. Let me copy that down here. 2x plus 1 times 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now the zero factor property says if this is the case, 
two numbers, two factors multiplied together to give me zero. Then this factor is equal to zero. Or this factor equals zero. Or both. So let's go ahead and solve each of these. They're just linear equations. I'll solve this one first. Subtract 1 from both sides. These will cancel. I have 2x is equal to negative 1. Then divide both sides by 2. These will cancel. And x is equal to a negative 1 half. Or, let me solve this one. I'll add 2 to both sides of the equation. These will cancel. 5x is equal to a positive 2. Divide both sides by 5. These will cancel. And x is equal to 2 fifths. So these are my two solutions. I could write them in a solution set. So if you want, you can write them as the set negative one half and two fifths.